Hey guys, it's a beautiful day out today, and rather than to spend it inside, I decided to get up, get dressed, and head on outside to enjoy this perfect day. So I thought to myself, what can I do on this beautiful day? And then it dawned on me, let's do another resort hopping. So I made my way down to Universal Studios, where you see I'm taking a water taxi and heading over to the Hard Rock Hotel. Hey family, hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button for your girl. If you are not new, please welcome back. So let's jump right into this video. In today's video, I decided to come down to Universal Studio and do a resort hopping here at the High Rock Hotel behind me um, to see what all they have to offer. So that way, if you are interested in checking it out, if you are planning on coming here on your next vacation, Stay tuned and I will be giving you a walkthrough and a full tour pretty soon. Hold the line. Once you exit the water taxi, take this walking trail around to the front of the hotel where you will enter into the lobby area. So far so good. I'm facing the back of the hotel and looking at the structure and the details of this building, it looks amazing. I'm so excited to be heading into the building so I can see what it looks like inside. As I made my way around to the front of the hotel, this guitar fountain really caught my attention. It's a very unique piece of artwork and it really represents the hard rock name. Upon entering into the hotel lobby, it was very spacious and open. I also like the fact that they had various montage of musical artists. Guest services was on point and greeted you with a smile. It felt very welcoming, which really made that stand out. to the side of the lobby area, there's a store called The Rock Shop. In here you will find various of clothing items that is suitable for those die-hard music lovers. There's also casual clothing items as well as souvenirs for your take-home enjoyment. The memorabilia in this store is endless. It feels like I just stepped inside of a pop and rock museum. Not only is it amazing, it's also interesting. As I walked throughout this hotel, what really stood out to me was on each floor, there was a display case displaying clothing items that was once worn by musical artists as they did their performances at some of their concerts. Heading downstairs, there's a restaurant called The Kitchen that serves up some of the best American cuisines. I'm told that if you are hungry, please bring your appetite they have a variety of options on their menu to choose from that suits every taste buds. Also in the back of the restaurant, there's a bar where you can sit back and enjoy a couple of cocktails as well as some appetizers while watching your favorite sporting event. 
and suspect that just like the rest of the hotel, there's tons and tons of memorabilia alongside the wall for you to enjoy. Just right outside of the kitchen restaurant is where you will enter into the pool area. Once I stepped inside of here guys, it almost blew my mind. This pool area is so massive, words cannot even describe how huge this area is. This area makes you feel like you are not in Orlando, instead you feel like you are in some sort of island. They even have cabanas for you to rent. Grab your appetizer, a cocktail, sit back and relax and enjoy the home away from home getaway. You gotta love it that they have an adults only section as well. Right off of the pool area, there's a beach club, walk-up bar and grill. They have a variety of food options to choose from, so are you in search of some quick bites, sandwiches, burgers, salads, entrees, you want it, they have it. Also, they have a variety of specialty cocktails for your pleasure. Live bands plays here daily, so while you're relaxing and chilling by the pool, they want to make sure that you're also getting your party on. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. While you're in the pool, they also have underwater speakers for you to bump to while you're getting your party on. Emac and Bolio's Marketplace serves some of the best treats, especially if you have a sweet tooth. This Boston ice cream is a staple and a great addition to this hotel. As well as being an ice cream parlor, this place also serves a variety of other desserts. When your time is limited, this is the perfect place to grab lunch or any quick service on the go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, for all you Elvis lovers, there is a Graceland Suite designed specifically to make you feel like a rock star. Back by the lobby area, there's a lounge called the Velvet Bar. It's chic yet stylish and very laid back. Pop in during the evening hours and enjoy some live music while sipping on some cocktails and eating some appetizers. The Palm Restaurant is an upscale steakhouse. It's nestled right off the back of the lobby area. So if you're looking for a nice dinner with a great ambiance, this is the perfect place. But remember to bring your appetite. The artwork throughout this hotel is amazing. I cannot stress this enough how beautiful the artwork is. Even if you're not big on art, but you just love music, you will enjoy gazing on these walls of this hotel. 
So this concludes my walkthrough and tour of the Hard Rock Hotel. I hope you enjoyed this video as I enjoy bringing you guys along. And also, if you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and I will see you on the next video. Peace. Thank you.